Welcome back to the special coverage of uh, the uh, t events happening today in Eastern Europe. Uh, we're joined over the phone by Ambassador Mohammed Hagezi, the former assistant to the foreign minister. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Ambassador, and uh, thank you stop. for joining us. Thank you very much. Um, sir, how do you read the situation right now uh, in the Ukraine? Uh, do, do you see uh, continued escalations in, in the situation there? This is what I don't want to see. In Europe, hmm. which is very alarmed, and I think uh, this uh, reflection of the uh, that we are in the international scenery where uh, we all with the uh, Asian yes. and to the current situation, to if the United States, hmm. Asian, the European, and the rest of uh, the international policy. Have entered in a proper time uh, to see our interest of the boss could have avoided that situation. Definitely, it was a very harsh time for COVID. Mm. Uh, truly, uh, putting uh, FT uh, folks mm. back uh, on up light, at yes. least it is such a foundation where the uh, uh, internet uh, community mm -hmm. has. Uh, uh, found a bit of bad difficult to follow part in Europe. And I think what's necessary now mm -hmm. is that put uh, uh, to uh, in the situation I think before uh, the yes. uh, uh, I think that is important also that understand that there is claims and requests that has to be respected and national interest uh, mm -hmm. that been many times expansion of the NATO to Russia, but I think uh, we have also to understand uh, that the, uh, to see uh, the uh, national uh, security uh, of the Qatar, uh, except in the middle of uh, the yeah, so, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the international convention security council. Yes. Uh, the European uh, and the world leader uh, will need a hold that situation uh, will be limited, yes. the damage will sustain, so that uh, we can look for uh, to much more stabilized region uh, where everybody will respect the sovereignty of the others and the Ukraine uh, people uh, will return back to the and groups mm -hmm. uh, will. Uh, 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 required national yes. effort has to be all uh, discussed on the table, but on the table. Um, sir, um, if the conflict in the Ukraine continues on and, like some fear, spills over into Eastern Europe and then it becomes a continental war, if months keep going on, uh, and this conflict continues on, do you think that uh, it, it could lead to some sort of world's war, uh, as some fear, where, you know, countries that are neutral or, you know, not really concerned about what's happening when it comes to Eastern Europe may be dragged into this situation? Uh, although it is difficult to protect, but allow me to assure that it would never uh, go to the uh, thing the uh, operation of uh, to work hard to stay. I think the uh, have uh, made it uh, uh, to uh, mm. their point that if they're not security, they can help you. And this is the clear that everybody has to set their geography and uh, bring in uh, uh, forces and joining in NATO its own set but if the NATO uh, was great to work, it would be all better. Mm -hmm. And now all are in a way. Uh, I think we all have to consider this situation very fast. The wisdom is to go up to part in the situation. Uh, Whereas now, I will focus to limit the death mm -hmm. and I, 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 I there is two uh, 
And Sir, the, 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 the line is sort of cutting up, so could you sort of move a little bit, because we can't hear you quite properly? Uh, I'm trying now, but what I was saying that yes. your uh, uh, idea about uh, the escalation to a limit of mm. our work in Europe is uh, not to be uh, a likely scenario. The likely scenario is that we are uh, facing two other steps. It yes. is difficult to predict, but uh, it is a uh, limited operation uh, that would be limit the uh, uh, ambition of uh, Ukraine to join the NATO mm -hmm. and would send a message that uh, the West shouldn't really, and the United States in particular, yes. that shouldn't happen with the national security of Russia or any other nation. The most important now uh, that. Uh, we uh, call the party uh, mm -hmm. to uh, contain the situation and the Russian troops uh, yes. to withdraw uh, from the Ukrainian territory and to end up this uh, chapter, uh, mm -hmm. which we have had long before, and we don't want to see any war, uh, yes. not only in Europe, but any part of the world. Um, sir, the, the Ministry uh, of State for Immigration and Egyptian Affairs uh, Abroad had earlier released a statement asking Egyptians living in the Ukraine to stay home, uh, wait for further instructions, and, you know, stay safe. Um, do you think that within the next few hours or the or next day or two, uh, we're going to start to see some sort of action within the, the, the state bodies here to uh, try to get our Egyptian citizens uh, out of the Ukraine? Well, uh, in Egypt, uh, many... Other nations are very keen uh, to uh, keep a positive guard uh, the, uh, the, the safety uh, of their uh, citizens. And, uh, I, I, I hope that the situation yes. uh, would not lead us to uh, pull uh, out uh, the Egyptian community from Ukraine. Mm. Ukraine is a very uh, important partner uh, to Egypt, uh, a supplier of meat and many other commodities as well as its uh, pillar uh, to Egyptian tourism, yes. so is Russia. So we would like that the two uh, uh, neighboring countries, which even President Putin described yes. Ukraine as an integral part of the history uh, of uh, Russia, mm -hmm. both are bound by uh, historical cordial relations, that that was the intervention of uh, world leaders Yes. Would bring this situation to calm because we are two dear nations to Egypt and yes. I think the pillars to Europe uh, stability, all what is required uh, uh, very uh, near future is to see Israel yes. and to uh, bring the two parties to the table yes. and of course to respect uh, one another uh, sovereignty and national security. Okay, Ambassador Mohammed Hegazi, um, the former Assistant Foreign Minister, thank you so much for joining us over the phone. Um, there is still a lot of special coverage is going to be taking place throughout the day, but this ends uh, the special coverage for this session. Egypt opens up to the world. President Abdel Fattah Sisi meets with world leaders. أعبر لكم عن خالص الشكر والتقدير على حفاوة الاستقبال وكرم الضيافة. Reaffirming Egypt's vision, delivering our voice abroad. لتطوير التعاون الثنائي الاقتصادي والعسكري إلى مستويات غير مسبوقة. Discussing regional and international developments. strong relations on the path of partnership and development.